This is an update. Remember the story that we brought you of the deputy sheriff who took his fist, decided to physically assault a black mother with her baby in her hands. We have more more information that shows, well, the mother was breastfeeding her baby inside of the car when pulled over. Let me remind you of the original video and I will provide the update. Here it is. No, I care about my baby, no, but I'm not to my child. Listen, okay? So before me, bro, I care about my baby and y'all don't. My baby is black and Mexican, bro. Y'all not taking my baby from the horse. Y'all gonna have to shoot me dead to take my baby from my horse. Y'all gonna have to shoot me dead to put I'm not about to let you take my baby on my life. I'm not about to, no. Bro, move, move. Come get my baby, bro. They're not about to take my baby, bro. My baby three months. My baby three weeks, you gonna hurt him, bro. You're gonna hurt the baby. You're gonna hurt the baby, bro. Oh my God, you're not taking my baby, bro. The sheriff, the sheriff did condemn the actions of the deputy. Let's follow the alleged logic of this deputy. He's saying he needs to take the baby away and wants to provide a safe atmosphere for the child. That's the premise of them taking the child away. So in the process of doing so, he puts the child in danger by physically punching the mother who's holding the child. Regardless of what you may think about her compliance or not, this is a special circumstance. You need to have a conversation. There was also another alternative. Somebody said, hey, I'm not going to jail. I can take the child myself. We can get a car seat. We can take care of this. It does not, the child does not have to go with the police. They refuse to listen. Let's get to it. Put up the picture for a mask. On July 24th, lawyers filed a federal uh, civil rights lawsuit on behalf of Ms. Yayo Russell, the mother who was punched against Los Angeles County and several unnamed sheriff deputies for excessive force when arresting the mother for a traffic stop in 2022. The complaint follows after Sheriff Robert Luna's condemnation of the incident where officers violently separated Ms. Russell from her then three week old baby, three weeks. The three-week-old baby son was in her arms. Her son is named as a plaintiff also in the lawsuit obtained by Atlanta Black Star. And good work, by the way, uh, by Atlanta Black Star on this story. The footage was released one year after the incident and has since sparked significant public outcry. Per CNN, attorney Jamin Hicks, pictured right of Ms. Russell, addressed a central allegation in the lawsuit saying the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, quote, has had a practice and a custom of using excessive force against uh, Antelope Valley residents, specifically using force against black women. Hicks said, per the LA Times, that because it took a year before the body cam was released, it shows the mentality of the county sheriffs in that area. According to lawyers, Russell was breastfeeding her baby moments before the deputy stopped the car and decided to arrest her. The deputies even tugged on her baby's leg before taking the child away and detaining Russell, who was thrown into jail. This case is about more than just punches. It is about the way the deputies treated this mother, Hicks said. In her complaint, she claims that she was compelled to get rid of her breast milk before spending four days in jail. Once locked up, Russell says, She had, quote, no idea where her child was 
or if it was okay. The civil suit does not specify a specific monetary amount for damages sought. Instead, it alleges that the deputies involved in the arrest violated the Fourth Amendment and the Fourth Amendment's safeguards against unreasonable search and seizure. It also points at the city alleging municipal liability, unconstitutional custom, practice, or policy, and municipal liability failure to properly train. This is basically um, a negligent hire uh, type of suit, uh, saying these individuals lack the prerequisite training, which was a system issue um, contextualized in the sheriff's department. Let me remind you of the details, okay? Because the details are important. The incident happened in the um, city of Palmdale, of Palmdale, when deputies pulled over a car driving at night. According to the report, the car did not have headlights on. This was July 13th, 2022. The officer's body cam recorded that incident that began around midnight. Luna reported that the deputies detected an odor of alcohol during the stop. The vehicle was carrying a total of four females and three infants, including Miss Russell and her child, as all passengers. The male driver was found to have a suspended license and was arrested on DUI and felony child endangerment charges. Deputies had discovered three women in the vehicle were holding the babies in their arms instead of using car seats. And they also were arrested on felony child endangerment charges. One of those women was Miss Russell. It's a damn shame. The lack of care. The devaluing of human life was evident in the way they handled that entire thing. So here's what's going to really bite them. Not only how they handled it, but the pattern they have already displayed. And according to the attorney, which by the way, Higgs is a serious attorney. If he's saying that there's a pattern specifically against women of color in that region, by way of these deputies, he's already done the research. He would not make a statement like that without having significant significant evidence to back it up. He's sending a warning shot to the opposition that this information will become part of the judicial record. Sharon, thoughts here? Uh, they don't need more training. Right. They, it, it, it's stupid and no idea how to de-escalate something very simple. Okay, so Sheriff Luna can save his condemnation. I did see child endangerment. And I think that belongs on a police report That's right. against the thug cops. Yep. Because I also saw a violent assault. And the optics, Dr. Richie, this is like the slave protocol stuff. Mm -hmm. Rip the mm -hmm. baby, your property, this is a property transaction. I would like to see the UCLA criminal justice program get all the body cam footage. It is a case study. It is one that is worthwhile. You made such a great point about child endangerment. The only physical child endangerment that, that was seen, mm -hmm. as you said, was the deputy punching a mother holding a three week old baby. All right, we will give you updates as they develop.